Welcome to this Wallworm 2.0 video demonstrating how to get some of your source assets into the 3DS Max with the SMD and QC importers. Wallworm 2.0's SMD and QC importers have been greatly enhanced. We're going to briefly demonstrate how it works. We're going to go to the importers and import SMD and QC. To import your model with all the settings to make it easier for re-exporting and working with, especially an animated model like a character, you want to choose animated model. Also, if you have a folder full of SMDs, sequence SMDs, that are not referenced inside of your QC files, we can add the folder path here. Simply type or paste the path to the folder with your animations that belong to this file. In this case, I'm simply putting the path that contains a whole bunch of SM sequence SMDs that belong to a character Take note that any of the SMDs that are in this folder, if you happen to add this folder, will be added into the animation of your scene. If there are any SMDs in here that you do not want to add to your sequences, remove them or copy to another folder and use that folder instead. Now, we just need to hit the Import QC and SMD button. By default, it lists QC. If you want to do SMD, you choose that, but for this case, we're going to choose a QC. Double click this and wait for the importer to work. This may take a couple minutes depending on how complex and how many files are used in the animations. Now our model has been imported into the scene and he's fully rigged. Andy has all the animations. We're going to close out the importer for now and we're going to open up the Wallworm model tools. I'm going to choose pick model and I'm going to click on the blue helper back here that is the helper that contains data for this model. And we're going to go down to the sequences and activities. You're going to see here a giant list of sequences. These were the imported SMDs and others that were from the QC. If we click on one of these, it will jump to that frame and you can play the animation. Now, depending on the type of animation, it may jump around a lot, but if we have one that's walking or jumping, we can go through and watch all of these different animations playing over and over here. Now, all of the animations, all of the sequences are part of the timeline, so you can scroll through them all. And to jump to the beginning of any specific one, just click on the, the sequence name. Now each sequence will have brought in any of the actions that were known. For example, uh, the ragdoll has the act die ragdoll. However, any of them that we imported with the folder, let's go back to the importers again, any of them that we derived from the folder here were directly SMDs. They were not referenced in any of the QC files and because of that it could not get an action. And at this moment in time the only uh, parameter that will be imported from a sequence is the activity. Um, in the future we may add uh, these other properties. And some of the other things uh, the, the tool did import a collision model so if I want to view the collision model and isolate it, select the collision model and isolate it, there's the collision model and you can see here how the collision model looks. If we play this, we'll be watching that. Let's hide the collision model and now like with the uh, different parameters in the sequences. Not every single parameter will be imported, but many will. Uh, for example, most of the collision hall options uh, like mass and uh, concave, etc., will uh, come in. Most of the options up here, uh, the static prop, opacity, will come in. The surface property, those will import, but not everything. The importer does do one thing. Uh, if you've ever noticed this QCI button here, 
if you press this, this will bring out the file that's automatically generated at least once and the importer will create this and it will put in here most of the options uh, that the importer did not recognize not everything but a lot of them so this will be included when you export your file and you notice that the name of this is mail 06 SDK WWMT custom QCI anything in that file will always be included in the uh, export so when you re-export it you can use that and you can edit it to your needs and another part of Wallworm 2.0 is the ability to select the helper and go to the modify panel and change some of the parameters from the Wallworm model tools and in here you can kind of visualize the different elements of your model if you select any one of these you'll see the the mesh for that part of the model will highlight in flash. The same with the holes. If you right click any one of these it will change the selection to that object. In which case you can see that we have this object here and it's got the skin and all of the bones that it's skinned to. This has been a demonstration of the SMD importer with Wallworm 2.0. You can always get the latest Wallworm at wallworm.com. Thank you and have a good day.